Okay, so we are ready to take care about some shaders. Um, just uh, some minor stuff here before we start that. So we um, did not uh, make some um, yeah, instances of, of those three parts to put them over here. But um, yeah, that's uh, not a big deal. So select both of... Uh, we can select all three of them. And then... Uh, <clears throat> Let's go under here, edit, duplicate special, and then say scale at negative one and Z and set it to instance. So my settings are still here on that settings. Number of copies one and say apply. Okay, so we get the all the pieces done. So one last piece um, that I will model later on is uh, that glass that is sitting here on top. Okay, so that's one thing that we have to model later on, but that's easy and uh, yeah. Okay, before we now start um, creating shaders and stuff like that, I would recommend, uh, I mean, you don't have to do that, but I would recommend if you take a look at the outliner, we get a bunch of stuff here, lots of uh, stuff and um, yeah, it's always a good idea before you start shading or altogether to stay organized to uh, yeah delete the history of uh, all the parts and um, go in there and give it some some uh, special names so that you can um, yeah if you later on open that scene you can find your pieces here and stuff like that so just um, yeah you don't have to like I said before but I would hardly recommend it. So I will pause the video uh, and I will do this in between. And that's gonna take a, um, a while. So yeah, you have to take your time to do this. Um, and then uh, I put uh, you know s um, the pieces that are um, somehow uh, have to be together in, in a group or a layer. I will create some different layers here to turn that on and off and I will also go in here delete the history and delete some unused uh, nodes and stuff like that okay so I won't um, record uh, uh, the the process of, of cleaning that up because it would take uh, I don't know that takes maybe 30 minutes or uh, 60 minutes depends on how fast you're typing and uh, um, so and that's something that you don't have to see yeah so just for instance so if you select that ring just to to uh, give you an idea what i mean so if you select that one object here uh, it's a good idea to delete the history and in this case for that ring uh, it's always a good it's a, also a good idea to freeze the transforms and then delete the history so and then with that ring selected check out where it, uh, it's, it's located here under your outliner and then if you click on that here and then hit Control a to go to the attribute editor then go here to polypipe and, and call it some something like uh, outer ring okay and then hit enter so with that done you always yeah have an idea okay what the, what is that piece of geometry okay so yeah like I said I will pause the video and I will go on um, in between naming and deleting history and stuff like that and then I'll be back and we will start uh, creating some shaders all right so hi uh, I'm back um, with my organized uh, scene here so right now you see nothing so let me show the outliner and the perspective view so I put everything in a group that's called uh, Rolex Daytona here and um, I've got an extra group with all the NURBS surfaces and the curves that we created so I just um, yeah I um, keep th those uh, things and put it just on a on a in a group here and then uh, let's take a look at the group here of that um, watch so it took me about something like 45 minutes to uh, go in there and delete the history of every part and give it a name so I've got the um, here um, some layers on the right side so we uh, have the reference image on and then uh, the nerves curves and stuff so here are the knobs uh, on a layer and then uh, those uh, little rubber boats and stuff on the on that watch so that you easily can turn on and off uh, while you're uh, yeah shading or whatever you can just turn uh, those layers on and off to um, yeah, have a better look better look at what you're doing here. So those are the wristband connections here, uh, the wristband lock down there, 
and uh, the bottom rings of that watch or the the circles cylinders the main case here on a layer the upper rings uh, the main plate here with the holes in in there and then those pointers and th the numbers uh, from those uh, three little holes here and the center parts uh, with that ripple piece and those boxes and finally the wristband so <coughs> yeah with that done uh, as i mentioned before um you don't have to do that but uh yeah it's always a good idea to uh, at some point when you're done with the modeling process um yeah have i like it to have everything kind of um yeah uh, named and, and stuff like that and it's also good for your system if you have deleted the history of every part so all right um with that explained, um, so let's go in here and let's create some shaders. So first of all, we need a chrome type sh shader. Um, and that's uh, on many uh, parts here. On most of the parts, we take one simple chrome shader. And that's uh, easy. So let's go to Hypershade. OK, with that loaded up here. Um, I'm um, using um, the MIA material for the chrome shader. So under here, under metal ray materials. And yeah, we can take this simple MIA material here. And um, that's selected. I hit Control A to get to the attribute editor. And then uh, go here to presets. And there should be a preset right up here, uh, chrome, and replace that. And that works fine for most of the parts of that watch, not for every part, but for most of it. So let's give it a name and let's call this um, Chrome Shader. And uh, let's give it an extra name, Main, the Main Chrome Shader or Chrome Shader Main. Okay. So with that done, so now we have to figure out um, what parts of that watch have to be um, um, have to should have that chrome shader okay let me go to the channel box here i know for a fact that all the knobs that we uh, created here on the side so if i go here over that layer and uh, go right click and then say select objects uh, i get all the knobs selected so i could also go in here under my outliner where i got the group with the knobs click on that and now i go in right click go down here assign existing material and i'm assigning the uh, chrome shader here okay we got one part done so we can uh, hide those and now let's um, take the main case here so again i could select it from the viewport but uh, yeah uh, select objects so I got it selected and then I go in and do the same here, assign existing material uh, chrome shader. And then I can hi hide that layer. Um, all right, so let's um, select here the lower parts that are uh, chrome shaders as well, or should have chrome, sh uh, chrome shader as well. Again, assign that and then um, hide that layer. And I know for a fact that uh, every part on that lock if i select that uh, select objects th that every part of that lock um, has the chrome shader as well so assign existing material and say chrome shader and then i hide it okay um all right so now we have um, uh, some pieces already shaded here um let me pause the video and then we go on and take care about those other pieces here. <laughs> 